In the last video, you had installed PowerMTA, and in this video, you will complete the basic configuration of PowerMTA. So, what you have to do for that? First of all, you have to go inside the folder with etcpmta, then you go from here. You can go by clicking on etc, and after that, you have to click on pmta. Here, you will get it written OK. After that, what you have to do is that you have to edit the config file, do it here, you have to edit it, and Look in it. Here you will also find it written in the file, edit configure file and replace IP and domain. So wherever there is another IP, you put your IP there. Then I copy the IP of my VPS in here. I have put that or you just replace it in all. Here I have put here and here too I have put it. Wherever you Find another IP in this config file, put your IP there. OK, and I have replaced the IP here. What to do after that? You have to replace the domain also. Along with my domain, I have copied the domain here. I have put this domain, it just came down. Wherever it is, there are all the domains here, right here. But I have put the my domain here. Also, I have put the my domain here. Also, I have put the main domain here and here. Also, I have added the main domain here, so I have done all this here. And it is here, write your SMTP user and password. Is here, so you can edit it as per your requirement, so like I have. Kept this one here, which is its username is daily movie update, so. I have kept daily movie here. And whatever password is there, keep the same. For SMTP also. OK, so I have put this SMTP password here. And then I save it here. I have saved it here. After saving, you will see what you have to do is you have to go. You will get a folder named etcxm. Go inside it. You will get OK back. Here in etc, there is a folder named. Go in it, and here you will get a file named exam.conf. Also, if you want to edit then what to do here, like here you. By using port 587, you can use 465 or port 25 or 2525. But the best port is 587, so we will use it in SMTP. If the Port is, then I have put 587 port here in the config file, but if you are using 587 port in the config file in PMTA, then you will have to remove that port from this exam.conf file. So I remove this 587 port from here. After removing it, here I save it and close it, and after the coming here, I clear it like this. I copy the service exam restart command here. And here I paste it because I have removed the port in the exam.conf file. For this I have to run this command. Because the exam services have to be restarted after that I what? Has to be done? Come here, PowerMTA has to be. Restarted, the command of PowerMTA is service to restart and I do this, copy it, and come here and paste it. I clicked enter, and here the PowerMTA is also restarted. It's done, if I look here. I'll show you, here I'll look and show you, here I come again. Inside the PMTA folder, and here is the config file. If there is any problem in this config file, like I say this, is my IP, I type it and save it, and when now if I try to restart the power MTA, then it will restart, otherwise restart it. Like there is a problem with you config. In the file, you are not able to find out what problem is coming, it is showing you something like this, then what should you do, just this. Is a command to check the error in PMTA, PMTA debug, so I do this, copy it, and here. I do this.
If you paste and click enter, then it will tell you the line in the config file. That in which line you entered the problem and what is the problem, so? Look here, this is the problem in line 3 that it does not match any valid IP. Because I, what I did was that to show you, here the IP was here. Whereas here I did this, okay, to show you, I also correct this. Again, and I saved it again, and now this problem. Will be solved here, so I just enter the command service to restart. Our PMTA here has been restarted. Okay. After that, after restarting here, let's do our test. Here. I do in some per. Here, I do open end. Here, we do our test. I put it in the host name. Our IP port is 587, and here I open a temporary mail. Temp mail, okay. We will send our mail there, and now we need user. Name and power password. So this will be your SMTP username and power password. The username is this and the password is this. Okay, and the from email is this. I do this, I. Admin at this and I send a mail on this because for the test, what has? Worked so far. I check whether it is complete or not. So I send a test mail here and see here if the mail is sent successfully. Then here my mail has already arrived, so till now, whatever I have sent, the work has also been completed. Now, what do you have to do? In the next video, we will do the configuration of DNS in which we will connect our IP to our domain. Okay, in those. Or its records like SPF, Kim, DMRC, etc. in the next video. We'll complete.